and come on up to stand. And then we'll start with a little bit of movement with music from Anupata Puretti. Go ahead and start to move your body. Take your time, people getting ready. We'll adjust our shots. Get a little more off my legs. And then we'll give the arms a little bit of care. Team off from our golf course. Make the movement a little smaller. It's just a little static there. If the music is too loud, then you can use the arms. And then take the little side side. Reverse. 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ooh. Uh, this is like the anti-quarantine sitting movement practice. Hmm. Good. And then coming into uh, squatter's pose. Move your sits bones back, <clears throat> extend the heart forward. Come lower, reach up, inhale. Hug the front ribs in slightly, press your tailbone back. Take a big breath into the back of the heart. Exhale, drop it down. Again, inhale, exhale. Stay with that or add the torso. You can exhale through the mouth. Good, a couple more. One more. Just stay down, clasp the hands behind the back. Reach the shoulders up, bend the knees a lot. Look forward, exhale, hover the left foot. So you lift it ever so slightly. I'll we'll make sure my feet are in view. Pause, drop your chin slightly so the neck is long. Couple of breaths. Balance. Balance, balance, balance. Shoulders engaged, head relaxed. What do you mean this is taking too long? <laughs> One more breath. And then slower than you'd like, Transition through a warrior three variation. And then go low to your lunge. Ish. Drop the tailbone. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, fist to fire. Pull the belly in. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull in. Breathing in, make space. Breathe out. Drop into that space. Two more, shoulder blades engaged as you exhale. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the solar plexus, come down slowly for three. Back knee will land slowly. Ah, I know it goes fast towards the end, that's okay. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, shoulders back and up, inhale. Exhale, take the hands down without collapsing into the lower back by toning the abdomen and keeping the front ribs slightly toned. One breath here, maybe look up. Take your hands down, moving into your cat and cow or any circular movement that feels good. Keep the elbows soft and the neck long. Maybe inhaling into a little bit of space. And exhale to drop into that space. We're moving into our rhythmical breathing. We'll help self-regulate. Just a couple more. Move in any way the body feels like it, it, it could be inspired to move. Hmm. And then inhaling, shift your hips forward with the knees. Pull the belly back, press the hands down, take one more breath. Exhale, slowly lower. Good. Inhale, Shalabhasana, locust. Exhale, stay there. Again, inhale, reach the shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades in. Inhale, collarbone, smile. Exhale, inner heels move back behind you. One more breath. Take your forearms down. Take the tops of the feet down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull the belly in and lift it off the floor. Inhale, slowly release down. Exhale, press the elbows down to lift the hips a bit. Slowly descend down, we'll take three more here. This doesn't look like much, but I'm sure working. Just a bit, one more. 
And then we'll exhale and stay. Good. Tuck the toes under. Feel free to stay here, especially if you're on your ladies' holiday. That's enough for I even got the things. Otherwise, how about covering the right knee? Lift. Take it down. Other knee. And take it down, inhale, Sphinx Pose. Exhale to puppy, plant your palms, shoulders back, seat to heels, get long, find your breath. Big full breath into the back body. As you exhale, let the head and neck drop for a moment. And one more breath, inhale, exhale to cat pose. Inhale, send the right leg back. Exhale, take the left arm forward. Long the neck, long spine. Okay, so I have a wall behind me, but pretend as if you did press the heel back and reach the crown of the head forward. The tendency here is to sort of collapse through the midline, the mid body. Push the floor away, lengthen the back of the neck. I'm gonna just keep saying that. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, elbow to right knee. Round. Inhale, extend. Don't fall. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Kisses. Again, inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, point the toes. Breathing in, make space. Breathe out, drop in. Last one, inhale and exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Sit back on the heels. Shake out the wrists. Find your breath. Find your patience. Let's take a ride on the Harley. So make fists. Take the wrists up and down. A couple of times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now tuck your thumbs right into the palms. Keep going. Lift as you breathe in. Press away as you breathe out. Couple more. And the last one. Good. And then coming out to all fours, inhale. Exhale, puppy or down dog. Bend the knees a lot for your first, I presume, down dog of the day. Press your six bones back. Reach the crown of the head forward. And then let it be a little bit of a dancing dog. So you can pedal the feet. Soften the elbows. Let the head drop. And maybe even move a little side to side. Inhale, take your knees one centimeter from the floor or inch. Exhale, drop them slowly. Inhale, puppy. Extend back. Exhale, cat pose. Come forward. Inhale, send the left leg back. Exhale, reach the right arm forward. Good. Press away. Each reaching away. Top of foot or toes tucked. Lengthen the right side waist. Move both six bones back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, round the spine. Tap. Again, breathe in. Reach the thumb up. Breathing out. Press the floor away. We've got three more here. Two more. And last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drop. One more time, sit back, toe breaker, tuck toes, interlace fingers, take a few rotations with the Alexandra special. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And reverse. And shake it out. And then kneel. Take the right foot forward. Good. Take your hands to the right side, shoulders back, tailbone down, take a breath in. 
Exhale, come to a high lunge slowly. Press the left heel back. Ooh. Arms reach, inhale. Press through the right foot, straighten leg, exhale, fist of fire. Again, in, exhale, two. Breathe in. And breathe out, three. In, exhale, four. Last one, inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, reach the arms back as if you were about to hug someone. Exhale, hands forward, step forward, Uttadasana, squatters. Inhale, reach. Exhale to ready pose, stand. Turn your palms forward. Take a moment, regroup, assess. Once again, squatters pose. Sit low and back, reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, left foot back, lunge. Stay high, reach up, inhale. Exhale, fist of fire, again. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, two, one more, inhale. And exhale, good. Left hand down, right arm up. Roll the right shoulder back. Allow the gaze to follow the thumb. One full breath here. Exhale, hands down, half plank or plankety plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower slowly. Once again, locust, inhale. Exhale, hands down, feet down, cobra, inhale. Exhale, lower. Repeat that or slide hands back for up dog, inhale. Exhale, puppy or down dog. Couple of breaths. Let it go. Smooth it out. Walk it out. On your next exhalation, step the left foot forward, low lunge. Come to a twist. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, stay there. One more breath. Full stretch. Exhale, high lunge. Come up, press down to come up. Arms reach, last time. Inhale. Exhale, fist of fire. Again, inhale. Exhale, two. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Arms reach back. Inhale. Exhale, arms forward, drop low, squat. Inhale, reach Utkatasana. Exhale to ready pose, palms. Turn your palms forward. Take a breath. Allow the heartbeats to be a little bit raised if it is. And if it's not, it's okay, we'll do another round. Okay, so one more time, squat low. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot lunge. Inhale, high lunge. I'm keeping my back knee bent to have access to the glute and the hamstring a little more. Exhale, hands down. Plank or half plank. Inhale, stay there. Exhale, lower slowly. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, plank or puppy to down dog or puppy. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. Left heel stays up, high lunge, inhale. Exhale, consider bending back knee. Thumbs back, heart lifted, inhale. Exhale, Utkatasana, get low to reach up, inhale, exhale, stand, last round, drop seat, arms up, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, left foot back, high lunge, inhale, exhale, plank or half plank, inhale, remain, exhale, knees down or up, slowly lower, 
Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, plank or half plank to puppy or down dog. Couple of breaths. Let the head and neck go. Hmm. And then inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, left foot forward, lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, low squat. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, press your feet, stand tall. Good, shake it out. Give a little wiggle waggle. Woo. Give a little dance, you can walk around your space for a moment. <sighs> All right, so sometimes I feel like we're a bit confined to the mat. Just one more little box. So dare to step off the mat. Give yourselves a little mid-practice wiggle waggle if that feels good. Especially if you have a little bit of a pent-up energy or you've had a couple of coffees like teacher. Good. Let's take a little bit of a skater's action here. So at abduction, bend the left knee. Take the right leg out to the side and pause. I'm just gonna check in a couple of chats in here. Ooh, good. Mm, okay. Ah, there seems to be consensus. What the heck were we doing? We were standing on one foot. Let's call it the right leg. And then notice the tendency to lean. Well, let's not do that. So let's maintain our vertical axis for this one. And then reach the arms wide, turn your palms forward. Try to take the thumbs back. Squeeze the shoulder blades in. Big breath in. Get low. Have like a half of Kabasana. Exhale. Bring the heel to the right. Opa. There you go. Ole. Or opa, whatever. Again, inhale, get low. Exhale, stand tall. You can click your fingers. That's fun. Again, inhale. And exhale. Or you can mix it up. One more time. Inhale, lower. Stay. Skate, skate, skate. Skate that food. Good. Yeah. One more breath. Exhale, press down to come up. Woo. Stick it out. Sick, sick, sick. Second side. Get low, plant the other, presumably left foot. Press the other one away for an indefinite amount of time. Balance and breathe. And if, you're, if you've got the music on, you can do a little shaky, do a shimmy. Okay, so normally I don't play music because I consider my yoga class, I would like to consider my yoga class a learning environment. Right? Learning new techniques, learning about ourselves. And fun as the music is, it can be one more obstacle to being with presence and whatever arises. But when there's drilling outside like today, we'll do a little dance. Stay balanced. I can't see your feet. I'm going to assume that you haven't lost your balance at all. Take a big breath in. Move your thumbs back. Exhale. Opa. Or Shiva. Not that right? Again, inhale. Keep bending that standing leg knee. And exhale. You can change it up. Oh my god. Burning a bit, huh? And for three. Two more. Stay low. If you hit it, it hurts less. It burns less. Ha! Last one. Here we go. And all right. Yeah, yeah. That was for last night's Netflix or couch marathon. One more for that. Squat low. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Hands to the floor, shins, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down dog, step or jump back. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. Silently. Warrior two, take the left heel down. 
Reach and rise, inhale. Exhale, press through the feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend, look forward. Good. You'll notice my palms aren't facing the floor or the earth. They're facing sideways, because I like it. Again, inhale, reach. Lift the toes of the right foot for a moment. Drop the tailbone. Exhale with your breath. Good. Couple more, breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, expand in all directions. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, stay there. Exhale, hands to the floor. Bend the left knee, or sorry, you have the right knee. Bend your left or whichever knee you have in front a lot. Then alternate bending the knees, doesn't matter. Weave the hips side to side. If it feels good, you can let the shoulders participate a little bit. Hmm. Just feeling into the body, feeling into the hamstrings this morning. You can try lifting your right foot up as well. Just a couple of times, moving. With maybe even a little bit of sensuality in that we're feeling whatever we're feeling, all our senses. Good. And then drop your hips. Stay low. Keep the left heel down. Drop your head. Just a breath. And then from the six bones, come up. Walk the hands forward. Frame the right foot. Inhale. Exhale to plank pose. Hold your plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, side plank. Right hand stays down. Toes turn left. Heels are down. If this is too much, the right knee stays down. Left arm rises. So you can keep the right knee down or stack the feet one in front or one on top. One more breath here. Push the right hand down. Open the chest. Inhale. Exhale to change. Heels to the left. Toes to the right. Press the left hand down. Reach up with the right arm. Again, left knee down is A-OK. -okay. One more breath, full expression. Exhale, plank to the floor. Inhale, into your back bend. Exhale, plank or half plank to puppy or down dog. Right leg rises, inhale. All right foot forward, exhale. High lunge, inhale. Exhale, squatter's pose. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, ready, stand. Pause, one breath. Yeah, you can either adjust clothing or hair as needed. One more time, drop your seat, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, set the right foot back. Take the left, uh, right heel down. Warrior two, second side. So it's the other leg. No, to self. Now I see what you want to do with your palms here. Take a moment. You can even alternate bending one knee and then the other. And then really press through the left or front foot. Reach the arms up. Inhale, vertical axis. Exhale, gaze forward. Take aim. Good. Again, inhale. Try to keep the torso vertical even as the knee bends. So staying aware of the relationship between your tailbone and the crown of the head. Right, so when we're doing warrior S, you don't want to be over eager. You don't want to be first in battle. And you don't want to just hang out in the trenches. You want to be right in there. 
Good. And then reach it back. Inhale, peace warrior, reverse warrior. S. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow to thigh. Right arm can come overhead. One more breath. Look down. Hands down. Inhale. Lift the back heel. Exhale, plank. Okay. Good. Side plank, left side. Inhale, reach up with the right arm. Exhale, hands down. Second side, inhale. Reach up with the left arm. Look at it. Look at the hands. Exhale, plank. Again, inhale. Just like you're doing the twist with the feet. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You can always move to half plank, knee down. One more time, inhale. Good. And then inhale, plank. Exhale, knees down. Come down slower than you'd like. Last time, inhale, locust. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Take the thumbs off the sacrum, shoulders back. Inner thighs to the ceiling. Couple of breaths. And let the armpits smile and the tailbone drop. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, sustain. Again, inhale. Exhale, palms down. Child's pose or puppy or down dog. I'm going to lift up onto my fingertips for this one. Make your choice. Make your choice. Take a couple of breaths. Slow it down. Smooth it out. Maybe an exhale through the mouth. Relax the lower jaw. Hmm. I've turned off my music. If you'd like to do the same. If you like it, keep it. And then we'll slowly come up. Pause. Coming into our Vajrasana, the uh, a lightning bolt seat. Take your hands or fingertips behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Draw the tailbone to the knees. Lift the hips a little bit. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower, almost down. Again, inhale. Take the hips or the buttocks rather off the heels. Exhale, replace. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Walk the hands forward. Take your palms down. Push the floor away. And, and from the sits bones rising back, come into down dog. Deeply bend the right knee, press the left heel down, have a breath here. And switch. Bend the left knee, drop the right heel. And then step the feet together, inhale. Exhale, left leg goes up. Open the hip, drop the heel. So now your hips will face the left side of your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale, high lunge. One more time, come up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind you, moving into a warrior three variation. Take a breath in, take a step forward. Get long heel to crown. Press the left foot down firmly and take the right leg up. You can flex or point the foot. So the tendency here is to collapse in the belly. All right, so see if you can pull the belly in, press the heel back, get a little longer. Take a breath in, press the left foot down and open slowly into like a half moon situation. So now the back foot is coming parallel to the floor, even as you're moving your hands behind you. Good, and then you can release the arms. Take a breath in. We'll come up to stand as if you're shooting a goal. So take your heel forward and boom. And we'll do that again. Inhale, half moon-ish. Exhale, shoot and go. Bam. 
and you can do a little twist with the torso. One more, just for fun. And if this isn't fun for you, I'm okay with that. Take a breath in. Exhale, boom. Hold, bend the knee, and the standing lift. Notice if you're leaning back like the matrix and find your vertical axis. One more breath, and that's fine. <laughs> that was a quick breath. Shake it out. Wiggle, waggle your tail. Find your breath. Take your hips to the right. Take a little stretch here. Hmm. And yeah, to the left. Last, last time, Utkatasana, squatter's pose. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale to lengthen, prepare. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, feet together. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, open the hip now. Keep equal weight through both hands. Take a breath. Exhale, draw the knee in. Step forward. Exhale, establish yourselves and inhale, high lunge. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, other thumb on top. For most of us, that's the left thumb. Shoulders back, ribs in. Take a big breath in. Exhale, little step forward for one kind. Plant the right foot and then slowly, nicely, come on up. And if at first you don't succeed, come on up anyway. You can come up and down a few times. If you have wall next to you, cheat. It's okay. No one sees you. I don't mind. Good. And then coming into a warrior three variation, press the heel back, reach the crown of the head forward. We did this on all fours. Similar shape in our bird dog. Extra bonus points if you keep the standing leg bent. Press the heel back. If this is too much, take your hands to the thigh. We'll be here for just one more breath. And then we'll exhale. Open the hips by pressing the right foot down and taking the left hip, stacking it over the right-ish. Take a breath in. You can reach the arms back. Full extension. One more breath. And then exhale. Shoot and score. Take the heel forward. Foot is parallel to front of the mat. Let it go of the arms. Give a little dance. Try that again. Send the leg back. Take a breath in. Hmm. Exhale, bend the standing leg and press forward, guys. Let's just do one more. Good one. Less momentum this time. Inhale. Exhale, take it forward and forget about it. Shake, shake. Let it go. Let's come back into our sweeping, swooping, nonchalant and MLA moments. Relax the eyes, a little bit of side to side, keep it going. Let's <sighs> a couple more breaths. Nice and easy, letting go of whatever tension accumulated. You can shake out your hands. Shake out your bum or booty. <sighs> Beautiful. And then bring the feet together, bring the palms together. And as we've said before, leave a little space between the palms for the blossom of the heart. Exhale, engage with your solar plexus where the dome of the diaphragm floats up. So as we exhale, the diaphragm goes down. No. <laughs> as we exhale, the diaphragm goes up. As we inhale, the diaphragm goes down. So let's take a moment and reflect that movement. So inhaling down into the pelvic floor, allow it to relax. And then exhaling, turn the palms up and take it up to just below your chest. Do that a couple of times. Hands can be a little apart or together. So inhaling down into the feet and the pelvis. And exhaling up through the spine to the crown of the head. And also move with your breath. Do a couple more. It feels better to have the heels a little apart by all means. Go for that. 
There's two more. Inhaling down and wide. Exhale up and tall. Last one, inhale. Exhale, step the feet together if they become apart. Re-engage into the hands of Anjali Bhagra, the gesture or of offering. Taking a moment to dedicate our practice to someone else. So that the benefits that we reap from our practice can serve and be of service. And then inhale, take the heels up and the arms. And exhale, reach the arms wide, take them forward, take a breath in. And we're going to keep the heels up and take the seat down slowly. A little bit of wavering will be there, resisting the urge to lean forward in the course of feet too much, resisting the urge to go faster towards the end. Take a breath in. Exhale, knees down. That goes quickly for me usually. Once again, toe breaker. Sit quietly for a moment. Inhale into the back of the heart. And exhale, reconnecting tail to crown. As a matter of fact, if you like, you can take one hand to your sacrum and the other hand to the crown of the head. Middle finger right at the tailbone. As we sit and breathe, we're exploring this relationship here, this vertical axis. Notice if the chin wants to pop up, and drop the chin, move the skull back and up. Take one more breath here. And slowly release. Beautiful. And come into one more, one of two last downward facing dogs. A lot of dogs today, I know. I know. It gets better, I promise. Take one breath here. As you exhale, take the left knee behind the left wrist for pigeon. So the left foot um, is back underneath the right hip for this one. Activate the toes of the left foot. Press the right heel back. And then ease your way down. Okay? And for most of us, the left buttock will be about a kilometer or half a mile off the floor, that's fine. Inhale, bend the back knee, pull the heel in, exhale, slowly extend. Pad it if you need to, inhale, but you should be on the top of the quadricep. If you're not, if you're on the kneecap, pad it. One more time, like hamstring curls. Pull in, and then, you can take your left hand onto the left thigh, stay here, pulling the heel in, or grab a hold. Give your little quads a little bit of a stretch. You can stay here if you'd like to walk forward and take the leg with you. You can do that as well. A couple of breaths. Keep the toes of the back foot active and the navel slightly toned. And then release the foot, keep it right where it is. One more breath, heel hugs in. Exhale, slowly release. Flat the palms, downward facing dog. Walk it out, take a breath. And then here we go, second side, right knee behind the right wrist. Right heel underneath the left hip. So external hip rotation here. And then, you know, this side may feel like it uh, belongs to someone else, or at least it ought to. Give it time, be friendly. Take a moment, extend or straighten the left leg. Press the heel back, to access a little bit of the top of the knee or the bottom of the quadriceps. And then here we go, pull in, you can point or flex. Don't really care. <laughs> And then slowly extend. And then you can flex and point as previously advertised. Crickety crack. Beautiful. One more. Pull the heel way in. Stay there. Or you can transfer the hand to the right side and over to the floor further back. And then oh, see what's available. 
Take a hold of whatever you like. Thumb can face the floor or the ceiling. Okay? Doesn't matter. If you're feeling a little bit of a stretch and you're breathing patiently, it is plenty. Stay high, or if you'd like to go low, go for it. I'm gonna stay right where I am, quite happy. <sighs> so keep resisting with the foot, so neither the hand nor the foot have an outright win today. It's like a conversation. With the head relaxed, wherever you are, take one more rest. And then keep the heel where it is, disengage with the hand. Pull the heel in, take one more breath. And then exhale, last, last, downward facing dog. Inhale there. Exhale, last, last, plank. Assuming this is your only practice today, take one breath here, push the floor away with your hands. And then exhale, come down slowly. <sighs> and then make a pillow with your hands, rest either cheek or your forehead and allow the front body to expand as you breathe in and soften as you exhale and that's the mouth and allow the throat to soften as well bring your awareness to the front of the pelvis and allow the pelvic bowl to spread and release. If you'd like a little bit of movement, either a little windshield wiper action with the shins, or just a little tail switch twitching with the tailbone. Hmm. Just slow your breath down and enjoy the sensation of being held by the earth. This has been sort of our theme this week. Like this uh, security and presence is offered 24 7 by the earth beneath us. So, taking a moment here to engage with that sense of being supported, or at least to acknowledge the potentiality of receiving support and releasing into it. Consider allowing your exhalation to become a little more full, a little slower. Perhaps even exhaling through the mouth, whispering, ha. And here we get a little feedback from the floor. We can really pay attention and notice how it responds and softens to the exhale. So if you'd like to take a few moments lying in this position for your Shavasana, for your rest, you can do that. Or if you'd like to lie on your backs for a few moments, you can do that. And if you're ready to proceed with your day and the video here. So thank you for taking time for yourselves today.